Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making some fall decor with a Dollar Tree candlestick, some Dollar Tree pumpkins, and some floral. Um, so if you enjoy making decor for your house, um, holiday decor for your house, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Everything that I use today will be in the description box below if you do enjoy the video. Um, if you could like it and then comment below, let me know um, how you enjoyed it. Um, so what we are going to do first is I already painted my pumpkins, which you didn't, you don't have to paint them. This one was green, this one is cream. And I, when I put the jute and the burlap on, I didn't want to see through it. Now this first pumpkin, as you can see, I didn't need uh, my stem to it because this pumpkin is going to sit on top of it so i don't need that so these are already done i don't have to worry about them they're already dry so what we are going to do first before we do anything is on the one that i already did you could see that i added this glitter acrylic paint on the bottom and then i added it on the leaves so i want to go ahead and add it on the bottom of this candlestick that way it has some time to dry before we mess with it so what i did and the good thing about this glitter acrylic paint is it's it kind of it doesn't you have to dab it on but then once it sort of starts drying it starts molding a little bit and you can push it around so i'm just going to do this all the way around this jar bringing it up a little bit I said jar, this candlestick, and bringing it up a little bit around the whole entire candlestick. All right, so now that we have the acrylic glitter, on the bottom of the candlestick. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside, let that dry a little bit. So I'm gonna bring in my pumpkins. So I wanted my pumpkins different on my big one. What I did was I just took some five inch burlap that I got from Hobby Lobby and I cut it into, I cut it straight down the middle into halves. So I am going to overlap the burlap in an X and then I'm going to add one right here I'm going to set this directly in the middle and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull all of these up into the center now you can this pumpkin is not going to be seen this one is going to sit on top so you if this one's going to be seen you can absolutely use the stem that come with it and just shove the burlap down in the hole, but you're not gonna be able to see mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add some hot glue. I'm gonna pull it down in the center. And of course, try not to burn yourself. Add some on the sides because I'm gonna pull these, these in to get the shape of the pumpkin. And I'm going to do that all the way around with every strip of burlap. And then before I move on to the next one, I will come and cut off the, the extra. All right, so once you have that done, I will go through, add little dabs of hot glue just to kind of hold down the parts that are trying to pop up. Cut off anything that's hanging off. One thing I did do <clears throat> with this one is I added um, like a line of my white and um, natural jute 
um, in the creases. However, you can't really tell. So I'm not going to, going to do this with this one. I'm just going to let the white shine through. I'm just going to leave this one as it is. Because like I said, that bottom one you really don't see. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to not going to add the jute so this one right here I am going to need the stem so I'm going to go ahead and take that out and set it aside and what I will do is I you I am going to cover these in jutes each individually I'm going to use just the regular color jute and then I'm going to use the white and regular as well but I'm gonna do each one individually now it does take some time to get it all on there so you can absolutely cover them around I just did not want to change the shape of my pumpkin so by adding layer and layer and layer of jute on top of each other so it was easier and it, I liked it better when I just did each section individually so what I what you do is you just start with whatever color whatever color jute you want and I went down one of those lines placed my jute on ran it down the middle held it there for a second to let it dry <clears throat> and I didn't worry about cutting it straight to the bottom I'll clip all that off later it just takes more time by doing it that way Come down this other one, grab that same color, hold it down until it dries a minute. Cut it off and you do that around this whole section of that color jute that you're wanting. All right, so now we have our whole section covered. That's the reason that I painted it white. So I could add another piece there, but I'm not going to. So now that we have, we have glued it so much, we could just take this excess and we could just cut it off. And I just get as close as I can without pulling too much of the jute off. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a small piece right in the middle. Just because it's so big. That looks better. Okay. So, as you can see, you can't even really tell where we cut it. Um, but this does take a little bit of time. Not very long, but it does take, you know, some time. But like I said, you, every part of the pumpkin has another section on the other end and you can wrap each color you know accordingly the way you want to however remember that this jute right here in the on the top and the bottom it will start building up and it will take away from the shape of your pumpkin so that's the reason I didn't did it like do it like that now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna alternate my jute around this pumpkin All right, so our pumpkin is wrapped with our jutes. Now this was by far, it it takes a little bit of time, but I love the way it turned out. I love it so much that I'm probably gonna get some bigger pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and wrap them just to put around my house for my fall decor. So now what I wanna do is I wanna bring back my stem and place it in, but because we've pulled it out a couple times, I am gonna add some hot glue to it just to make sure it doesn't fall out. I'm just gonna put it back in there, hold it for a second and let it dry. 
Okay, so now I want to add this pumpkin on top of this pumpkin, but to ensure that it doesn't pop out or it doesn't move, I'm going to take, this is just a skewer that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to pop it into the pumpkin. Might have to get something a little bit harder to get it in there so your skewer doesn't break. So I'm gonna add some hot glue to that. And just pop it in there. Just to make sure it fully stays. All right, so I want to add a small hole to the bottom of here, which I already added the skewer to it earlier. But just in case, let's pop it through one more time. Make sure you have a good hole because you don't want to put, when you apply the pressure, it's going to pop through the bottom and I don't want to do that. So once I do, before I do that, I'm going to take our little um, bundle that I got from the Dollar Tree. They weren't really expensive. Um, what I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm going to cut off two leaves. And I want to apply that. Find where the front of your pumpkin, where you want it to be. I think I want mine this way. So I am just going to hot glue those onto the pumpkin. So I'm going to take some of my little berries and I'm just going to apply those underneath the pumpkin as well. A little bit of hot glue. And the same thing with this one. And I'm gonna to continue to add all of my embellishments. On the pumpkin. So that's pretty much how you have it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna bring our candle stick holder. I'm gonna apply some hot glue to the tip of that. I'm gonna pop this right in the center. Hold it down until it dries. Set that aside. And what we're gonna do is I just grabbed some I did get some fall ribbon, but there's just so much going on that it didn't look right. So I just grabbed some burgundy ribbon and my tail ended up being seven inches. So I'm gonna make seven inches, bunch it up between your fingers. And I want my loop Let's do a seven inch loop. I'm gonna bunch it up, twist it. I do wanna place a leaf right underneath that. So I'm gonna pull another leaf off. Add some hot glue to the back. All right, 
So everything's pretty much done. The only thing we have left to do is I'm gonna take this orange paint. I'm gonna take a paintbrush that I used earlier. I kind of let it dry on accident. I'm gonna add some paint, not a lot, scrape most of it off. And I'm just gonna come I'm just going to add a little bit of orange paint on it. Now we're going to come back in with our acrylic glitter. We're going to add some glitter to it and then we will be done. So same process. I'm just going to pull some out and just add it to the tips. All right. And there we have it. Two fall decors they turned out super cute um you could put them on your dinner table um it'll be look really good with any fall decor it does have the natural fall colors to it your burgundy your orange your red your green your yellow um if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate it if you um, hit like comment in the bottom and tell me how you like it um thank you so much for sitting with me and crafting with me i hope y'all enjoyed it um, i will show another angle so y'all can see what it looks like uh, put up y'all have a wonderful day